You know, all of us have an inner Italian just waiting to get out to celebrate life and enjoy good food. Well, mine got out and drove straight up Woodward and brought me to this place. <laughs> He's a good boy. Just north of Six Mile on the east side of Woodward and tucked away in Palmer Park is what Italians would call a little slice of heaven. Now, you may drive by it a few times before you see it, but once you find it, you'll never forget it. La Dolce Vita is the real deal when it comes to genuine Italian cuisine. And if you want atmosphere, this place is more romantic than red sauce and offers something Italians perfected, garden dining. Now, before I start repeatedly uttering the phrase, please pass the pasta, I thought I should find out how this slice of Italy has eluded my personal pizza for so long. So me and my inner Italian sat down with owner Enrico Roselli. On this show, we're used to featuring places that are a bit under the radar, but this little slice of Italian paradise is way under the radar. I mean, I drove by it three times before I found it. Is that by design? Yes, that is by design. When I discovered La Dolce Vita, I asked the guest that was with me, where are you taking me? And it was close at the time until I got to the gate. And then I looked inside and I saw the potential. And I had a confirmation when I bought it. My wife was in Florida. She came back. I picked her up. And I was taking her here. She said, where are you taking me? I said, wait. When she got to the gate, the magic happened. She said, what a beautiful little spot. Now, I was just recently in Italy, and this is the closest thing I can find to actually being over there. I think maybe, are you from Italy? Yes. <laughs> what part of Italy are you from? I was born in Calabria. Ah. Short stay in the north of Italy, so I consider myself Calabrese and uh, came in America in 78. What does La Dolce Vita mean, if I'm saying it correctly? It means the sweet life, and it's... Um, I took it because there is a movie from Fellini where, you know, in Italy, the movie star, they live a nice, lavish life. Uh, and uh, I want to give them a piece of the good life here in Detroit. So you've been at this location 20 years. June 6, 1995, I opened. Yeah, we actually snuck in here last weekend. Sorry about that. And the place was full of people. The courtyard was full of people. And I don't think I've seen more happy people enjoying wonderful food in my life. How does that make you feel when you come in here? <laughs> I sit by the gate and not too many people know that I own the place. And that was making me feel great because it's a hard business to do. But when you get those, such a compliment, oh, look at this place, how, how long it's been here. And I, all those compliments, talking about the ambience and the food, and see all the happy faces, that's what makes me happy and come back the next day with uh, more strength and energy to keep on going. What's great about being on Woodward Avenue? To me, Woodward is like the aorta to the heart. It's the main entrance to Detroit, the avenue of avenue. So I'm at the door, so I try to do a good job because if you come to my house, you're going to judge me from my driveway. If it's messy, imagine my house. Would you do it all over again? Oh, yeah, in a second. Enrico was one of the most genuine and gracious hosts we've ever encountered on UTR. He sat us down, filled us up, and shared story after story about his fascinating life and love for people. So next time your inner Italian gets out, don't worry, just hop in your car and head to La Dolce Vita, because that's where he or she will probably be. And who knows, maybe it's even their turn to buy. <laughs> Bonus.